Today I'm going to talk about the AMI PB70 standard, which was developed to establish a classification system based on the liquid barrier performance of surgical drapes, drape accessories, surgical gowns, and other personal protective apparel worn by healthcare personnel. The purpose of the classification system was to assist end users or healthcare personnel in selecting which product would be best to protect them from blood, body fluids, or other potentially infectious uh, materials. Uh, the standard uh, gives specific test requirements and sampling plans to help in this classification uh, to make it more consistent between manufacturers. All surgical gowns, uh, drapes, and other uh, protective apparel are placed in the classification systems based on their critical zones. A critical zone is defined as any area of that product which is going to, going to come in contact with a direct contact with blood, body fluids, or other potentially infectious uh, materials. In order to classify the surgical drapes, uh, the surgical gowns, or other um, protective apparel, uh, you've got to go through a series of tests. Uh, the standard outlines four different tests uh, that need to be performed. So in order to achieve a level one classification, uh, testing must be performed according to AATCC 42, uh, water resistance impact penetration. Uh, the test is performed by placing uh, a blotter paper underneath the sample, which is then, uh, where water is then run through a spray head and splash down on the sample. The blotter paper is, the, is weighed before and after uh, the spray to determine if uh, water was able to uh, penetrate the sample. So in order to pass this test, the sample must be able to resist less than or equal to 4.5 grams of water penetration. So in order to meet a level two classification, a surgical gown or surgical drape must be tested according to AATCC 42 uh, impact penetration test as well at, um, at a level of resistance of less than or equal to one gram of water. In addition, the samples must also be tested according to AATCC 127 uh, water resistance hydrostatic pressure. Uh, this test is used to to test the, the resistance to um, penetration by a steady increase of pressure uh, using uh, distilled water. Uh, the samples must show a, a pressure of at least 20 centimeters of water to pass this test. To meet a level three classification, um, surgical gowns and surgical drapes are tested using the same test methods as, as level one and level two. Uh, the AATCC42 impact penetration uh, to meet a level three must show resistance to at least one gram of water. And for the AATCC 127 hydrostatic pressure test, uh, the pressure requirement goes up to 50 centimeters of water. Okay, when it comes to level four, which is the highest level uh, classification, it's broken up into two different um, categories, one for drapes and one for gowns. In order to meet a level four classification for drapes, they must be tested according to ASTM F1670, which is a synthetic blood penetration test. So for this test, a small sample or a swatch of the drape is placed inside a test cell. Synthetic blood is then placed uh, against the outside um, surface of this, this sample. And as prescribed in the standard, certain pressures are used to try to push this blood through the sample. In order to pass the test, uh, you, must meet a, you must meet an acceptable quality level of 4%. Now, in order to meet a classification of level 4 for surgical gowns, uh, testing must be performed according to ASTM F1671. This test is performed in the same manner as 1670 using synthetic blood, but instead of synthetic blood, a virus, Viax 174 bacteriophage, is used as the challenge. This test is more sensitive than the synthetic blood test as the, uh, the size of the virus can penetrate through samples um, given just a small flaw or a small pore within that sample. So to come up with a sampling plan uh, to determine your classification of your surgical drape or surgical gown, uh, AMI PB70 lists uh, several 
uh, international standards uh, that can be used to aid you with the sampling plans. One is ISO 2859. The other is the ANSI ASQC Z1.4 standard. Now 32 samples would need to be tested in the critical, from the critical zones of the drape or the gown. Uh, within ABPB70, there are diagrams of a surgical drape and a surgical gown specifying what those critical zones, critical areas are. Now remember, criti the critical zone is the area that's going to come in direct contact with any kind of uh, blood or body fluid. Whereas the critical zones, the chest and the forearm and seam areas, are the areas which are going to determine what your actual classification of your gown is. So if you need to meet the highest level, test 32 samples from the chest, from this, the sleeve seam or the forearm seam areas of that gown. Now for surgical drapes, the critical zone is a large area uh, of the drape around the area that's going to um, cover the wound. And that'll be the area that you'll want to test for your highest level of protection, which will determine your classification. Now to sum up, uh, th again, these classification levels are to assist the, the end user, the healthcare worker, in, in determining which gown or drape is going to protect them and their patients the best. So any, any surgical gowns or surgical drapes uh, that have been tested and classified uh, going forward if anything in the design, in the manufacturing, in the materials of these gowns or drapes changes, retests must be performed on the barrier properties of these uh, products.